since 2020, when COVID hit the shores of this country, there has been a growing trend that has been largely lain and imported. When children were sent home uh, during the pandemic, faced by social and economic pressure that they encountered at home, we saw a very a, ra a rise in the number of single parents in this country. KNBS data shows that over the last couple of years, this has been has continued to grow. The proportion of single mothers giving birth increased from 11.9% in 2019 to 13.9% 13 last year. This means out of 1.1 million registers, registered births in 2020, 141,151 uh, were by single mothers. That figure has jumped to 169,780 out of 1.2 million. The causes have been varied, including out-of-wedlock births, migration for work, early teenage pregnancies, evasion of parental responsibility, social cultural issues, and poor reproductive health knowledge. Other causes are divorce, separation, death of a spouse, or death of all parents. But the biggest challenge is the teenage pregnancy. Aggravated by children out of school because of the pandemic, and later on because parents are struggling to take back their children to school because of expensive school fees. While authorities have denied that children must not be given contraceptive at all costs, quoting the scripture, at best, the reality in the ground is way different. A fifth of adults had their first sexual experiences before the age of 15. And at 20, 72% of Kenyans had already had sex. So the problem is that young people continue to have sex, continue to be exposed to uh, teenage pregnancy, and what is, that, what, what is the compounding effect of the society? Well, children with absent fathers are likely to engage in delinquent behavior, including substance abuse, truancy, thieving, and gang violence. And having an, an, an involved father predicts a less likelihood for getting into very risky behavior, including early sexual activities, pregnancy, and, and, and gang violence. Children with involved fathers have a significantly reduced rate of suicide, criminal activity, and incarceration. In fact, a study done in Nairobi uh, in 2009 found that 78% of inmates in industrial area and 72% in Nairobi West grew in fatherless homes. So Kenya is undergoing a massive urbanization that is generally defining the demographic sh shifts in this country. This, these changes are killing the traditional family. But to, to what extent are we cognizant of the overall impact this will have in the society? Join us this week at Newsroom by Maudhui House where we take you through some of the challenges and experiences of single parents and the, the overall impact this phenomenon will have on the economy.